going to talk to you today about perhaps the greatest of God's gifts, the gift of forgiveness. Without God's forgiveness, we would not be able to enjoy a relationship with our Heavenly Father because His holiness cannot embrace sin. When we sin, we break God's law and He requires a punishment to be paid for those sins. Jesus was sent to this world in order that he becomes the perfect sacrifice for our sin. His death and the blood that he shed was the precious payment for our sin. His sacrifice and the gift of his life allowed us to be forgiven and become children of God. His sacrifice was a once and for all payment to allow us to be in a relationship with God. And when God forgives, he casts our sin into the depths of the sea, never to be remembered again. Psalm 103 verse 1. And in Hebrews 14 verse 15, he says, I will put my laws in their heart and I will write them on their minds and their sin and lawless acts I will remember no more. Do you remember the day when you accepted God's great gift of forgiveness and you gave your life to God? I remember feeling light-hearted and felt I was clean and could sense God's love and felt love for others. This is a slightly cheesy song, Oh Happy Day, Happy Day, When You Wash My Sins Away. And it really was a happy day. Uh, and I can remember that bubbling up feeling of, of joy. It would be so great if we could live like this always. But unfortunately, our imperfect, sinful self keeps getting in the way of our, our relationship with God and we sin again. But thank God he remains faithful to forgive again and moves on and does not hold our sins over us. And he frees us from the slavery of sin. We know what it feels like when we've done wrong and feel the burden of sin. You feel guilty, ashamed worthless, helpless. You want to hide away from the person you've hurt. You don't want your offences to come to light and you feel trapped in darkness. This isn't the way God wants us to live. He wants us to keep confessing and overcoming sins so we can be new, new creations moving from one degree of glory to another. God also wants us to share that gift of forgiveness to others. Ephesians 4 verse 32 says, Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, forgave you. If this world forgave and treated each other with the tenderness and kindness God requires, we would live in a much better world. Sin brings darkness, oppression, guilt and shame. Unforgiveness brings bitterness, resentment, depression and anger. If we genuinely can confess our sins and we can learn to forgive others, it can change our lives tremendously and lead us to the peace and joy that we had when God first forgave us. And now I'll just pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your amazing gift of Jesus and that Jesus came into this world to become our perfect sacrifice. And because of his sacrifice, we have been forgiven and can have that relationship with you. And we can really call ourselves children of God. We just thank you and are amazed by this, Lord. Amen. Amen.